Now, we put out the operations notice for today under the title Emergency Election Announcement. And we did that because we think this election needs a bit of gingering up. Thus far, it is the dullest, most boring election campaign we have ever seen in our lives. And it's funny because the more the two big party leaders try to be different, the more they actually sound the same. Uh, we've reached such ridiculous uh, levels uh, that we saw yesterday on the Conservatives' social media a post about the cross-channel illegal migration crisis with Starmer's got no plan, the Tories have reduced cross-channel migrants by 36%. So they've even come to lying, because it's now up nearly 30% this year. Um, Sir Keir Starmer overnight, of course, on this big issue of immigration, says that they are going to cut the numbers. He, of course, the man who campaigned, not just for a second referendum, but a believer in open borders, uh, and a man who was a lawyer, fought very, very hard for those that arrive on the back of lorries to get benefits once they got here. So, frankly, we're in a situation, I think, where nobody believes a word that they say, no one's listening, people are zoned out, and right at the minute, none of the above is top of the polls by a country mile. And the problem with all this is we know whoever wins, taxes will remain high. The highest tax burden since 1948. Everyone's promising not to put taxes up, but nobody talks about reducing the tax burden. We also know that our people are getting poorer. Yes, we have growth in the economy. The last set of figures were slightly better than before. GDP, they call it. We must all bow down to the god of GDP. In fact, the more immigration we have, the better the GDP numbers are, because there are more people in the country. But what about GDP per person? Per capita, it went down by almost 0.7% over the last year. So I have decided I've changed my mind. It's allowed you now. It's not always a sign of weakness. It could potentially be a sign of strength. So I am going to stand in this election. I'll be launching my candidacy at midday tomorrow in the Essex seaside town of Clacton. So midday tomorrow, Clacton, at the end of the pier. Um, but perhaps, perhaps more important than that, I've made, a, I've made a far bigger decision than that, which is, and I've talked to Richard, and he is happy about it. Oh, of course, you'll write your pieces about how badly we're all getting on, because that's journalism for you. Actually, I, I, I regret to say we're getting on quite well. <laughs> but Richard is more than happy for me to put my head and shoulders firmly over the parapet and take the flak. So I'm coming back as leader of Reform UK, but not just for this election campaign. I'm coming back for the next five years.